It's literally just become, Stanley. It's literally just, I'll wait. Okay. Hey guys, let's go. James, that is my new plant. Her name is Phyllis. She's been on the struggle bus since she got here. She was outside of my door, maybe in the cold weather for a while, and then I repotted her in the incorrect soil, and then I had to repot her again, and then I overwatered her. So say a prayer that Phyllis makes it through the month, the week, the next few days, because she is on the struggle bus. Being a plant mom is hard. Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole, and the reason I look and sound like this is because I just woke up a couple minutes ago, I fed my dog, I fed my cats, and I wanted to immediately sit down here, having done nothing to my face, to show you guys this is what I look like in the morning. So when I'm logging onto my computer and someone's popping up in Skype or Zoom or whatever your work platform uses and asks me to share my screen, this is what I look like. So I finally decided I needed to incorporate some kind of routine into my like skincare, typical get ready morning routine that made me look a little more presentable because this is not very presentable for a corporate work environment, you know what I mean? And for some reason, I cannot get the hang of Skype when someone's like calling you. I never have sound on my computer, so I don't know if it makes a different sound or what, but sometimes people will jump in there and then it'll be their face and then I have to share my face and it's not a good look for me at all. So this routine literally takes you five minutes in the morning. I've been so excited to share it with you guys because not only does it make me look more presentable, it makes me feel more presentable, especially in this time. And I've been pairing it with like not too much of an overstated lip, but a little bit of color on the lip to kind of bring some brightness into the day. And it's literally just become part of my morning routine and it's so comfortable and it lasts all day. So I've been dying to share it with you guys all week long. So first thing I'm gonna do is brush my hair, change my shirt, and then we'll get started on the makeup. All right, so I changed my sweater, I put on some jewelry. I think that makes me look a little more presentable right off the bat. I did part of my skincare routine, so I cleansed, I put on some serums, but I didn't put on lotion because I've kind of incorporated my foundation into that routine, which I'm gonna show you in a second, and I just brushed my hair. I am not curling my hair in the morning. I am not straightening my hair in the morning. I did wash my hair and blow dry it last night, which is why it looks okay. Like the ends are a little rough, but it's fine. No one's gonna be looking at that on their webcams. Um, and then if I had, you know, like dirtier hair, I would just throw it up in a bun or something like that. But don't get it twisted. I have on sweatpants on the bottom, so we're nice and comfy. And this is one of my most comfy sweaters. I got it from like TJ Maxx a while ago, so I, I don't know if you can find it, but it's just a comfy sweater. Throw on a comfy sweater. I have my barefoot dream sweaters on all the time. So let's get started. First thing I start with is my La Creme Concentrate from Embryolise. I've talked about this over and over and over again over the years on my channel. I used this when I was a makeup artist. It is such a good uh, kind of primer moisturizer before makeup, but I just use my uh, number seven match made custom blend foundation drops in with this and then I just use my fingers and I cover my face. It takes like 30 seconds to get done and it's super easy. So I have two colors. I have warm beige and calico. I do two or three drops of calico, a drop of warm beige, and then like a pea size amount of my embryo lease on the back of my hand. And then like I said, I use my fingers to blend it all together. And I pretty much only use a beauty sponge throughout this entire routine. So again, just super, super easy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my hair back in a beautiful low ponytail. I start with my embryo lease. It kind of comes out quick. I use about that much. Make sure to shake these foundation drops. If you haven't tried these before, these are awesome. Uh, you can add coverage to foundations, or like I said, you can just you know mix it into your lotion. I think that's the way it's supposed to be used. One of you work for number seven or Walgreens, and you had mentioned that in the past. So this is warm beige, so I'm just gonna do one drop. Be careful with these drops. If you use too much, it's gonna look cakey, so just, you know, play around with it. And now's the time, since no one's gonna actually see you up close. So I'm gonna do one, two, three drops of calico. I'm gonna mix it with my finger, just until there's no white. And honestly, it all kind of mixes together fairly quickly. And like I said, I'm just gonna kind of apply it to my face and blend out 
first with my fingers and then I'll go over it with a sponge. And I am in natural light, obviously. I think all my videos are gonna be in natural light. I'm actually thinking about completely putting away my like whole setup with the background because, by the way, I always take the back of my sponge and just kind of apply whatever's left on the back of my hand first, but I'm thinking about like putting away the whole backdrop because I feel like you guys really like these videos. I really like these videos. It's a lot easier to get ready and I think it's just more natural, which is what, you know, I'm all about. You know what, we're kind of far, let me zoom you in. So that is it as far as the base, so easy. There are a few places that I need a little more coverage than what that provides. So I'm gonna take my Pat McGrath LM9 concealer. This is such a beautiful concealer. It looks so natural. It has the best coverage. I absolutely love it. I think they have a sale going on their website right now as well, so I'll leave that down below. Sephora is also having their sale, and then I also have on the concealer system at patmcgrath.com, I have a 10% off coupon that I'll leave down below. So check this out. I know you guys will love it, but I need a little extra coverage right here in that area, so I just do like a couple of little swipes and then I blend up. I just get a lot of redness in this area, so I just like to cover it up a little bit more. And then I'll also just take a little bit of that under the eye. I'm not talking a lot, just where I need coverage. So inner corners, which are dark, and outer corner. You don't have to do this step either. You could, you know, just take a little bit of that concoction you made on the back of your hand and pull that right up. No one is able to really see what's going on under your eyes since we're all you know stuck at home and this is like webcams and I don't know about you guys but all of my work computers look like they're from 1970. That just kind of makes me look a little bit more awake and you don't need to set it so this mainly this entire actually I think this entire routine is cream. I've been so into creams lately it just makes life so much easier so that's it as far as the base again it looks natural. You can see some imperfections, but it looks a little bit better than we did before. Next up is bronzer. This is too flat for me. Again, feel free to like add or take out where you want to, but I like to add a little bit of bronzer in at this point. So I'm gonna go in with my Bare Minerals Bare Pro Glow in Faux Tan. The Maybelline Fit Me number 330 stick works really well here as well. So use whatever you have. Just I think using a cream product here is a little bit easier and kind of goes quicker and looks a little more natural. This does kind of stain the bottom of my sponge, but it's okay. So I'm just gonna kind of work my sponge and then just add a little bit of bronzer to my cheek area. And again, we're not going for perfection here. We're just trying to, you know, add a little bit of dimension back into the skin after you cover it up a little bit with the little lotion foundation concoction. And if you didn't like cream products, if you prefer powders, you could go in with a powder here. It would, you know, probably take you the same amount of time. I just really like creams right now and I think they look so fresh. I even just kind of squeeze and just touch on the sides of my nose a little bit too. You can even go on the nose. The world is your oyster. Is that what that saying is? That is it for the bronzer. It looks so natural. This is definitely a glowy, fresh look. So if you had more like oily skin, just use a mattifying primer or, you know, again, just tailor to what works for you. But I'm gonna go in with a cream blush now. This is such a good product. I've talked about this in the past as well. It's the Milani Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush in Pink Flirt. I was scared to use this color for a while because it is quite stark. I'm just going to put a bit on the back of my hand, but these blend out so easy. They're not too pigmented that they're scary to use. Again, I'm just blending the bottom of my sponge into it, and this is just like the perfect cheek color for me. It's like a, you know, bright pink, but it's not overly bright where you look you know, crazy and silly and clown-like. It just kind of mimics the way I actually blush. And you could see how beautifully these blend out. You can apply them directly to the skin as well. I just prefer to have a little bit more control. It doesn't lift anything under, which is really nice. And again, it just gives you like a pretty little blush and it takes like 30 seconds to get on the face. Very, very excited to try the Fenty blushes and cream bronzers. I have that in my cart for the Sephora sale. I'm gonna be doing a video on recommendations for that. That video actually might go up first, so it'll either be out there or it'll be coming. I forgot to mention, during this process, I also apply a lip balm. This is just my Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. I've like fallen in love with this stuff. I still use my Aquaphor all the time, nothing 
takes away like cracked lips like that but this is just nice for like the getting ready process i usually do this like right after i apply my lotion so typically i would have already applied that but let's move on to highlights i'm going in with my ColourPop lunch money super shock cheek use whatever works for you i want to get another liquid blush i like these a lot they're really reflective but this is like just a touch too white like white champagne for me just gonna kind of hit the high points of my cheeks on my sponge. These are really pretty. They really, really are pretty. I just want more of like a golden color. So I, I either need to look into more of their super shock cheek highlights or I need to find a new highlight. Like I said in a recent video, I wanna get the highlighter equivalent of the Bare Minerals, but this is just really quick and easy and these are real nice and affordable. So. Again, I'm not trying to be too particular here. I'm just looking where the light is naturally hitting my skin and I'm highlighting those areas. And obviously the more you do this, the more you're gonna get the hang of it and you're gonna figure out what works for you. It took me some like trial and error to figure out what works for me, but now I've got it, like I said, down pat and it takes me no more than five minutes. Obviously I'm explaining it to you guys, so it's gonna take longer, but let's go in and do these brows. I'm using my e.l.f. Wow Brow. You guys know how much I love this stuff. I'm just gonna really kind of add some color more to the arch area and really fluff them up and then i'm gonna set it with my benefit 24 hour brow set i've already turned a bunch of friends onto this wow brow it's so amazing it takes like no time it gives me brows i did just dye my brows yesterday which helps as well i have a whole video on like things i'm doing to stay busy at home if you haven't seen that i'll link it down below or i'll put a card up there so you guys can check that out but Dyeing your brows makes your brow routine so much easier. It takes no time at all. And then I'm just taking my Benefit and setting them right up and they will not move all day. I think brows are now my favorite part of my makeup routine because they're so easy and I feel like it makes such a difference. I just, I love it. You guys need to try that wow brow. It's amazing. So now I'm going to go in and do some mascara. I'm not going to go in and do anything crazy. I'm going to grab my Thrive Cosmetics Crystal Liquid Lash Extensions. The crystal is black brown and then they have Brin as well, which is black. So both are amazing. I just go in with a black brown on a day like this because I think it looks a little more natural. Sometimes I'll go in with the black as well. It just depends on what I'm feeling. So I'm just going to give my lashes a good curl and add some mascara. Sometimes I add it to the bottom lashes, sometimes I don't. All right, I finished up the mascara. I didn't worry about like bulking them up or anything like that. I think a more effortless mascara look kind of goes with the entire look anyway, but if you wanted to apply a bunch of coats and bulk up those lashes, you do you, girl. So I'm gonna finish everything up with a lip color. I thought I was gonna go in with my um, more bright color, but since I have more of a muted shirt, I'm gonna go with one of the more muted colors, but I've completely fallen in love with the Revlon Super Lustrous Shine lipsticks. They are so pretty, they're so comfortable, and again, they just kind of look effortless so I was going to go in with glossy pink which is a really bright pink but that's going to kind of throw off the shirt you know so I'm going to go in with more of a muted color this is the glossed up rose I have been wearing these on my Instagram every day they're so comfy like I said and it just takes a couple of seconds to put on they're moisturizing I'm absolutely obsessed with them. I'm gonna get every color. And then I'm just gonna top that off again with the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. This one is in Berry. Then I'm just gonna take a little bit of setting spray so everything stays throughout the day. This is my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. Don't talk when you do that because that tastes disgusting. And that is it, you guys. It's so simple. Like I said, I just have these products waiting in my bathroom, so it's super, super easy to do. I just kind of have incorporated it into my skincare routine, and it just makes me feel a little more put together if someone's going to pop into my Skype or my Zoom meeting or anything like that. So I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you guys are hanging in there. If you have any questions, as always, please let me know down below. Otherwise, if you're interested in seeing any more videos from me, please subscribe. It means the absolute world to me, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.